Shalom. I want to start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this lesson, you know, uh, you know, I'm just going to, you know, say, you know, our warfare is not carnal. I don't really have a topic, but I just want to speak on the matter because, uh, where you know you know we we should be in a, in a state of being humble we should be in a state of looking for mercy toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and we also should be should be in a manner of receiving more knowledge understanding and wisdom for thou time's sake because the scriptures say the, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. So the knowledge and wisdom, which are spiritual, you know, shall be the stability, meaning to keep you stable in thy times, because there's a particular time. Okay, according to what's that Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, you know, there's a time and purpose and season under the heaven. Like meaning there's a specific time for a certain uh, uh, incident to go on or to happen if I'm saying that right okay let me let me rephrase that there's a there's a certain time for certain things to happen that that's better okay because the Lord said in Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 there's a time and there's a purpose mm. okay matter of fact let me get the scripture so I can back to this one all right it says ecclesiastes 3 and 1 to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven all right and it says what a time to be born a time to die a time to plant a time to pluck up that which is planted so when it says the time to be born you know it's really getting into things that are precise, all right, for certain things that actually happen, you know, and if when you understand that, you should understand also the way prophecy work, the way that the Lord, you know, ruleth in the kingdom of men, when he, when he, uh, you know, he uplift the people and he bring down the people, okay, he uplift one nation, which are the Israelites, and he bring down another nation, which are the heathens, the wicked, Okay, so the times in which we're living in, uh, what's that? Second Edges, the ninth chapter. The scriptures say, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the sign pass, then, then thou shalt well know that it, was, it, was, it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. All right, because we're truly in that time of prophecy, which is the last few prophecies. That the Lord spoke about, all right. That's gonna happen before, okay, be, uh, before uh, Jacob come into uh, power, all right. You know we have, um, let me say, we have the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, all right, which is taking place, is taking its course. You know, we're waiting now upon, you know, the uproar and the and the force of it. You know, the changing of your life. Damn. My, uh, my iPad just died. But anyway, I, I do a talk over there. My iPad said, Salakia, my iPad just died on me. I thought it would hold so I could read these scriptures. But it's okay. Because mm -hmm. um, I quote the scriptures. All right. Um, you know, you have the mark of the beast, which we're living in this time. When it's taking its course and it's, it's that action, it's, it's work, it's at its work. Okay, it's happening around the world, Sweden, East India, China. All right, and people are actually uh, taking it. China, 
is a prime example of what Esau want their society to be. You know, under the big brother, you know, under civilians, um, everyone being microchipped, you know, everything is uh, going according to the government's way. All right. You have, um, you know, have rooms of war, which is we're heading into a third world war. You know, I'm saying all these things, which brothers should already know. Okay. Because the scriptures say in Peter's, what man of person are we to be? In all holy conversation and godliness. Okay. All holy conversation, which means just the way you manner yourself. All holy conversation and godliness. All right. Godliness. Because we're supposed to be spiritual. All right. Now, this thing that Israel, Israel teach, you know, they teach, you know, pick up the bowl. You know, you can sell. Uh, so like, yeah, I forgot how it go exactly. And once again, um, my iPad just died on me, so I can't read the scriptures. But, um, you know, they sponsor and promote in a time like this that, you know, we... You know, it's okay to go out and buy weapons and, you know, prepare yourself for Esau. That's not, the, you know, that's not going to be the way that you prepare yourself. I'm just going to tell you straight up because the scriptures teach otherwise. Okay. You know, the scriptures tell us, the Lord tell us, you know, to um, to uh, uh, order our way upright. Constantly endure. Make not haste in a time of trouble. Okay, the Lord tells us to rely on him. You know, the most high wants to see us, you know, in in, in an adverse state, but having faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say our warfare is not carnal. Alright? Because we're not gonna make it out of here or make it on a chariot, you know. Swinging knives and shooting bows and shooting guns. That's not how it's going to go down. And I'm talking to the elect. Because, even, you know, as as uh, as uh, two-thirds, you know, whoever the Lord put that spirit upon to, ri to rise up against Esau, they're going to fight in action like that. But as for the men of the Lord, guess what? We're going to be quiet, man. Because the job that we're supposed to do now... Is to speak And then it's gonna come a point in time Where the Lord shut us up And we're supposed to shut the fuck up And be quiet And just wait upon the Lord That's why the scriptures say Then look up Because our redemption is coming How is Shai is returning man You know And um, just logically When you think about these things man You already know how to eat how the, how, the, how the enemy come You know that he's coming like a flood Like a madman sparing none According to 2nd Edges 16 Why would you, you know, give give uh, Esau the intentions or no, let me not say that or give better words, give Esau the power over you when you're being carnal by promoting guns or promoting weapons. When the scriptures say our warfare is not carnal because the true warfare is the spirit. It's a spiritual war. You know, it's already hard enough for you to fight against Satan spiritually, mentally. You know, with, with, with being tempted or, or 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 just aggravating the fuck out of you, man, to where you're angry, you know, when you hate this life. And I'm talking about mentally, spiritually. You're not going to have, I'm going to tell all you guys, if you guys watch this video, for all you guys out there that's being niggas and that got that old man spirit on you and you haven't put that old man off, y'all all, all going to get put to death, man. Paul said, he that uh, uh, live... Live, live for the flesh Salaki I'm gonna roughly paraphrase it Cause Like I said I don't have My scriptures My iPad just died Ye that live for the flesh Shall die in the flesh man Alright He that is carnal Shall die carnally man Straight up man You know This is truly a time Where the Lord Wants to show forth His power The Lord doesn't need us To have weapons To show forth His power He already showing you That the spirit of his mouth is so powerful enough that it's actually killing these devils. 
It's got, it, it changed the world. The word of the Lord itself just changed the world. If you have not noticed, just by us rising up and going out bedtime, man. Okay. Speaking this truth, breaking down uh, uh, all the strongholds, man. As the scriptures say, bringing into obedience. All right. Unto Yahweh Shai. Anything that imagine itself against the Lord as be, is being broken down spiritually. What weapon did what weapon did that? The weapon of the truth, which is the word. Yahweh Shai is the word, the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Rachakwada Spirit, Holy Holy Spirit is the word. It's the word, the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Okay? You don't need any damn weapons, you know. And this for you newly fruit. Don't get caught into that shit. Don't even promote that shit. Don't show yourself on camera with that shit. Because all you're doing is giving power to Satan for uh for uh Esau, you know, to deal with you carnally. You know, we deal with Yah we, we deal with Yahweh Shai with spiritual. When Yahweh Shai, I was reading this the other day, I don't even know if I loaded the lesson, but um I was reading with Yahweh Shai when he was brought to Pont Pilate. You know, he was uh, brought to um, Herod and um, Yahweh Shai never spoke anything carnally. You know, he held himself as a righteous man. He spoke when he was being spoken to. All right. He wasn't emotional and he dealt with his 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 trial. He dealt with the dark hour that he was going to go through in a righteous way. So he showed us how to deal with with the enemy, with these Edomites. He showed us how to deal being under pressure, being put to death without being carnally, you know? You know, we're not going out with a blaze. This is not a uh, juice, man. You know, going out with a blaze, going out gunslinging and, you know, and then thinking that the Lord is on your side. You know, now it's nothing wrong with you having a weapon that's not a sin but to promote and vibrate that for men men of the lord out there that you know brothers are listening and trying to figure out what it is to be saved you know paul said we teach the way of salvation when you do that you're you're setting a bad vibration and you're making carnal men because brothers look man when you come into this truth you know repentance takes time you gotta get rid of the old man and sometimes when men come into this truth, they think they're in the truth, but they're not because they haven't put away the old man. You just know that you just know the truth, but you're not in the truth. And what happens is you never put away the old man. And what you're doing is you think you're relying upon your weapons. You're relying upon that to save you, you know, or to scare someone. Well, Esau got big weapons, man, weapons that are that that's bigger than us and that are wipe out whole cities, man. And I'm talking about missiles, okay? They got fighter jets. They got men. That, they got multiple men that will flood your house when you and your when it's just you and your family. You don't even have enough bodies. That's why this war is uh scriptures say the south the the straight uh what's that uh wisdom of Solomon the fifth chapter. The strangeness of our salvation so far beyond that they look for because the way that Jacob is going to rise and take this kingdom, they they can't they can't possibly they, man listen, they can't they can't map it out. It's it's impossible in their and their and their heads in their minds. All right, you know if you want to do the math on it and try to see you know what scenario can possibly go down for us to rise into power when Esau has all the power. Think about this, man. Because right now, I saw, you know, I, I did a video weeks weeks back. And the video was off of RT. And it was about the Russian minister. He was speaking for Russia. And he was talking about how America is basically shitty mad. They, 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 they mad as hell. And they don't know how to take it because they are not in power. They're not in charge. You know? And he was saying, um, uh, not even that. There was another video as too that was saying that um, America... No, matter of fact, Salakia. I'm mixing two videos up. Salakia, Salakia, Salakia for that. All right. Now this video in the RT News, it was they was talking about how if America going to Iran, 
you know, experts calculated and said that if America go into Iran and try to evade Iran and take over, America's going to be destroyed. That means they, the experts sat down and they did the math. They contemplated, they meditated, you know, and they thought of all different scenarios. They thought about, you know, the strong, the weak, the angles. They know that America's going to be destroyed if they do. And which America will, because they are going to go into Iran. They're going to strive to. So how much more, all right, can they, you know, can, can you calculate us actually taking this kingdom from Esau? Because the scriptures say we're going to take the kingdom. That's Daniel's, I uh, believe, seven. All right. We're going to take the kingdom and that's going to be by force. But it's not going to be by the force of a weapon, man. That's what you don't understand. The weapon is the word. The Lord said, I will destroy them with the spirit of my mouth and then the brightness of his coming. Because the Lord is the physical, the Lord is the word spiritually and he's the word physically, man. When he get back, he's going to take this kingdom. All right. You may take a city, but you're not going to take the whole world. Yahweh Shai is going to take the whole world, you know, and that's why the Lord also, you know, through, through the teachings, we are taught that look and, 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 and also in the examples, the examples, the records of our, uh, our, our prophets, Paul, Peter, all right, uh, um, Elijah, Elisha, King David, they had what? What did they have? What did they have that was taken from us? I'll wait. I'll wait. What did King David, Elijah, Elisha, Apostle Paul, what did they have that was taken away from us today? And the Lord is going to give back. Spiritual powers, man. Spiritual powers is a form of faith. Spiritual powers, all right, is spiritual. That's why we say spiritual. Esau like to call it superpowers. The Bible call it spiritual powers because it has everything to do with what? The spirit. The Rakhakwadash. Okay? The Holy Spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So, you know, Salakia, like I said, is kind of like a commentate this morning. Uh once again, my iPad died, man. I had some scriptures lined up. I had Ephesians. I had uh, uh, 1 Corinthians, the fourth, uh, 10 and 4. Uh, I had a few. But um, I hope this lesson is edifying. Oh, that's another. Uh, that's within Ephesians. Um, you know, edifying the body. Everything is to do to edify, man. You know, if, 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 I, if I'm able to edify anybody... Mm -hmm. I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua that I can edify you, all right, in the way of salvation through Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's word. That's the way I personally want to edify you. If you come to this channel to the best of my ability, you know, to the oracles in which the Lord mm -hmm. gave me, you know, that the, the little uh, talents the Lord gave me mm -hmm. that can help whoever it is of the elect, may the Lord help you, man. And that's by edifying you through this word, not by anything carnally, nothing carnally. I don't need you to, sh I don't have to show you anything of, of any expertise of this and that. All I need to show you is the, 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 the expertise of the knowledge, understanding and wisdom, man. That's it. You know, that's why, you know, brothers in Great Millstone, not a lot of brothers, it's, it's, it's a, you know, I'm going to say on the majority tip, don't get that many views because if you title carnal, if you title your video carnally and you show on carnally things, you're going to reach out to who? The carnally straight up and the carnally is going to watch and they're going to be what? Entertained. But if you spiritual, you're only going to reach a few people that are spiritual. The Lord said, he that hear of us, hear of the most high. All right. So. Who are you actually trying to teach? Are you trying to teach the elect? Or are you trying to receive some type of vain glory? You know, are you trying to, you know, be something that you're not? Because Yahweh Shai said he have, uh, you know, take upon no reputation. 
You know, they wanted to bring Yahweh Shai on a, on a horse, but Yahweh Shai rode in on a donkey. That shows you the nature of our Lord because he knew that the first go around when he came as Yahweh Shai, he was to give repentance, you know, to give mercy. He wasn't to be, you know, the, the king in which we know he is. And those who had the eyes to see and ears to hear and that saw and believed in everything that he done under the father, Yahweh, they knew that he was the king. But guess what? The second return, when he's coming back as a, a roaring lion, as the scriptures say, a uh, um, destroyer of the Gentile, all right? The lion that come up from his thicket, all right? He's coming back as the king now. Man, look, man. Being carnal is going to get you killed, man. This is going to get you and your whole family killed. Right now, we're on the time to be more spiritual. Praying, fasting, you know, getting more into the scriptures, you know. Learning more than what we, we already knew. You know, so this is a message for brothers out there that are the young brothers that are coming into this truth. And you're looking at these different camps. And you're seeing who got the truth. But then you also seeing, you know, men uh, pushing forth the spirit of carnal, you know, being carnal and grabbing a weapon is not going to get you killed. I mean, excuse me, it's not going to get you saved, man. It's going to get you killed. You know, I would rather, I would rather, you know, these Edomites kicking my door. I would rather not have a weapon to receive spiritual powers than to have a weapon and don't receive spiritual powers. Because why I say that? Because when you think, all right, about, when you think, you know, about the spirit, you think about the matter, you think about this incident, you know, when Esau come kicking in your door four in the morning, when you sleep and all that shit, right? Like they like to do and you know, you have a, a weapon in the house. What is the first? In, what is the first thought that's gonna come to your head? What is the first thing that's gonna come to your mind? What's your first instance? Your first instance, yo, I gotta get my weapon. Now, is that faith? Are you using faith, or are you using your own ability, your fleshly, carnally ability? Now you gotta hope that when you strike, you strike right, right? But if you don't have a weapon and all you have is your faith. Who are you going to call? What do you, who do you, what's your reaction going to be? Your first reaction is going to pray. How about you, Yahweh Shah, protect me. You know? So, you know, I just put that out there for that, man. That carnal shit. That shit is whack. And that shit is, that shit is, that shit is for views. That's all it is. And it's staring uh, certain men. It's putting a stumbling block before them. You know what? And it's all it's all due to your Bashim Yahushua because those that fall in that spirit, they just not of the Lord because they don't understand. You know? They don't have the, under, the true understanding. You know? Now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with having that, but promoting it is no good, man. No good. If that's your thing, you like to go to the range and shoot, you want to go look at some skillful stuff and all that stuff, cool. But putting it on camera and trying to uh, convince Israel that, you know, we're going to have Esau's weapons and all that shit. You out of your goddamn mind, nigga. <laughs> yeah, and I said nigga because that shit is niggery. So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, Salakia once again, um, my iPad died, so I couldn't grab the scriptures that I lined up. And um, Lord willing, I hope you're edifying, man. Our warfare is not carnal, man. But mighty through the stronghold, pulling well, mighty through the pulling down of strongholds through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, meditate on that, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.